The Solvo SV06. Two weeks ago I did an unboxing, setup and first print with this 3D printer. But after two weeks of printing, different kind of things. What do I think about it? Is it any good? Or did I encounter some issues while using this 3D printer? Well, I'm going to tell you all about it. So first of all, when I was using this 3D printer, when I printed the Benji, like this Benji right over here, it is kind of looking amazing. But when I was using that, I had this huge buzzing sound. But what was it? Actually, it was a setting that was from the factory wrongfully set. For the x-axis, it was standing on 65. For the y-axis, I didn't hear any sound. And that one was on 68. Change it in the configuration settings by the TMC drivers setting. So after I have changed that, the printer started doing auto homing and this x-axis noise was gone. So the first print that I got was this Banshee and I need to say the Banshee started with a printing temperature for PLA at 185 degrees. When I saw that I was like isn't that a little bit too cold? for PLA. I mean, nowadays PLA, when you buy it, it is between the 190 degrees and 210, 215 degrees Celsius for normal PLA. Well, in this case, I raised the temperature to the normal standard 210 degrees. And I do need to say that this standard Benji came out very well. Because if you're looking to the bottom side, if you can see it, you can see that the engraving on the bottom of this Hi camera, I'm here, yeah, nice. So that is very clearly visible. I was like, okay, I'm going to print something. And there something happened. I followed the instructions for adding this 3D printer to my Cura. Well, there are some things that I had to do, but when I was going to print something, I didn't get something that I was hoping for. Some failed prints, like you can see right here. So after two attempts, I was like, okay, so maybe the filament is not good enough, but I don't think that that was the issue. No, there was something with the slicer because I installed after that the Solvo slicer. There I choose the SV06 as my printer and then I slice some models. The first model that I was going to print and failed two times with using the wrong slicer, I got a print out of it. And as you can see, it is Joseph Frusa because yeah, you know, it is the Solvo SV06 and I think it looks a little bit a lot like the Mark III S. I do need to say that this print came out pretty nicely. So I use the standard lay height of 0.2 millimeters and I do need to say that also even here with the glasses it is looking very well. I have printed several minis because I have a lot of spools with some remain filaments and I want to get rid of it without throwing it away. So what better use to use it for printing minis? Since this is a drag drive A, it's most ideal, right? So I've printed several minis. One of them is John Wick. John Wick is printed and I think that it looks nice here. Also with the gun, there are some little things that I think looks kind of Hey camera, how are you there? That looks very nice. I'm not complaining here, I do like it. There was also something like a Captain America that I printed. <laughs> you guessed it right, it is also a mini, just like here, very nice and white. This is by the way, this is by the way, white filament that I had on a spool 250 grams and I wanted to use it. It is looking nice. Then also Aquaman Mini, also from Wexter. I still need to remove the brim, but I think that also that looks amazing. All in the same kind of layer height, that is an okay. Then I switch over from one filament to another filament. And in this case, I use the brass filament. This is a very nice model from Photos Mint. This is one of the fan arts that Photos Mint published on printables.com. You can find it. It is, I think this looks very nice very clean print. This model is printed at layer height 0.12. It is very nice. It is very shiny. All layers looking amazing. I do like this. I do how it looks like and it is gorgeous. So I was like, hey, I have this model from Waxer as a mini. Why not printing that one as well? And look at that. This is looking so beautiful. Very smooth, very well done. Yeah, 
very well done. And then we have also from Alien. It is very nice, very smooth and very well printed on the Solvo SV06. So, but what do I think about this 3D printer so far after using it for two weeks? Besides the two things that I have mentioned, the sensorless homing from the X-axis that was noisy as, you know, I think that from factory, when they are testing the three printers out, that everything is as it's supposed to be. Also, the thing that I had followed the right instructions for adding this 3D printer to Cura Slicer and then running into two issues or several times having an issue that the printer didn't finish the print job and was doing something weird is also one thing that I don't think that is totally correct. After using the Solfo Slicer, I think that all models that came out of this 3D printer are looking very nicely. Great. I don't want to say perfect because there are some little imperfections that I still think that could have been better, but it can also be a user issue and that I'm just, you know, stupid. If you're interested in buying this 3D printer for yourself, check the links in the description of this video. They are free to use. One is from the Solver website, the other one is an Amazon affiliate link. You're free to choose whatever you like, no strings attached. If you made it this far in this video, you are amazing. You can become a YouTube member or you can also, you know, go to Patreon and support this channel. That way your name will be added here in the list. You will get some early access to the videos. You can also give one time a thanks. There is a thanks button somewhere here. And if you don't want to spend any money on this channel at all, hey, no problem. You can subscribe if you are not subscribed. You can like this video if you did like this video. And, uh, you know, I will see you next time. Peace. Bye-bye.